Good morning friends, this is Shomna Chattopadhyay from Department of Mechanical Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad. Today we are going to discuss about the operation equipment and load estimation for bulk deformation process with uh, very specifically uh, deep drawing is concerned. So that way as per the title slides goes, we can see that this is the deep drawing operation and there we will find it out that what is happening there in terms of the load estimation for bulk deformation process. So here we can see the different stages of deep drawing. The first one it is the initial state, the punch just before the contact with the work. So it is placed in some lower uh, fixtures and upper the punch is ready and the workpiece material that has to be deformed. The second one the punch has entered some part of it intermediate step and the bending has already started. So bending has already started as it is it is shown in the zero. So bending has already started this is the stage two and stage three straightening this part is getting straightened straightening is happening because with the further progress of the punch and then the fourth stage is frictioning there is a friction and compression friction and compression it is compressed because whatever it is extruded part so compression and thickening of the flange so that is started happening and finally the final cup cup formation deep drawing that will be the output final cup uh, showing effects of the thinning of the cup walls and those things it is not thick anymore. So thinning and all those things happen and this is associated with that. So this cup formation is there and the symbols are V for velocity motion of the punch, F for the punch force and PH is the blank, FH is the blank holder force, holder force is associated with this is uh, holder blank holder force. So what are the important criteria? What are the important criteria for this drawability, deep drawability? The first criteria is limiting drawing ratio. Any ratio cannot be done. So we have to find it out what the limiting drawing ratio is associated with that. Then the reduction and thickness to diameter. So these three criteria has to be uh, analyzed before uh, Mm, assessing the feasibility of the deep drawing operation. So it is important to assess the limitations on the amount of drawing that can be accomplished. There is a physical limitation. Any form of drawing is not possible. So we have to find it out the constraints. And these constraints or limitation often guided by some simple straightforward measure. And we have some straightway formula through which we can measure that it is whether it can be drawable or not. So this has to be done and in addition drawing force and holding force are also important because if we want to design those equipment which will be responsible for doing this drip drawing operation whether that equipment can give that amount of force and whether the fixtures can able to support that kind of force in order to do that deep drawing operation. So that is important for the design of all those equipment and finally the starting blank size must be determined also from what initial size we will convert it to the final shape. So that also has to be designed because uh, all things also depend upon these drawability on these initial sizes and that has to be determined. So we can see these things the measure of deep drawability why deep because the height is height is there and that uh, deep height because of that is why it is called drip drawing operation and we have to measure the drip drawability and defines the largest blank largest blank which can be drawn without tearing because if the tearing is done then the purpose is lost then the product is absolutely unacceptable. So we have to ensure the entire process by just ensuring that it is drawn without tearing. So that ratio, that ratio is that maximum blank diameter divided by the punch diameter. 
and maximum blank diameter that will be say repo represented by d suffix o and punch diameter d suffix p. So, that ratio that is called LDR ratio. So, that ratio durability largest blank uh, largest diameter ratio. So, that is by represented by d LDR and that has to be determined and that maximum value is already defined by the standards or handbook that is 2.7 under no circumstances we can go for that ratio that maximum blank diameter is more than that of the punch diameter in that ratio 2.7 and depends all those things also depends on the die radius the punch radius the hold down pressure clearance lubrication there are other uh, variables which are also have the role to play radius die radius punch radius hold down pressures and all those things uh, and uh, clearance and lubrication and that will make it happen and the drawing ratio the drawing ratio is uh, one of the measures uh, to determine the severity of the deep drawing it is a dramatic change so it is a severe deformation the ultimate severity has to be determined so one of the measure of the severity of a deep drawing operation is the drawing ratio that is known as dr drawing ratio and this is most easily defined for a typical cylindrical shape and that is given by this equation that dr that is drawing ratio is equal to d suffix b by d suffix p. Uh, so, d b is the blank diameter d p is the punch diameter. So, dr is defined by the ratio of d b by d p blank diameter divided by the punch diameter in the equation form. So, the drawing ratio, why the drawing ratio significance of it? The drawing ratio provides an indication, although a crude one, blunt one, but it is a pragmatic one because it does not have a lot of complexities in order to calculate, but substantial idea one can get, the operator can get in order to do those deep drawing operation regarding the severity of a drawing operation. And the greater the ratio, the more severe the operation because if the diameter is much bigger than the diameter of the punch then the uh, deformation is very severe and we have to take a note of the severity uh, it has to be within some limit because otherwise there is a possibility of tearing where the process will be uh, not feasible so, so there are some some guideline value that is provided in the handbook or the standards or the practitioners uh, uh, manual. So, that is the an approximate upper limit on the drawing ratio is a value of 2. So, that means the diameter of the blank um, maximum can be twice than that of the diameter of the punch. And the actual limiting value of a given operation ratio depends upon the corners also because the corners also have a role to play in order to give the proper shape the die corner ready uh, rp r suffix p is the uh, radius uh, corner radius of the punch and corner radius of the die so that has a role to play in the friction conditions depth of the draw so that depth is also important and characteristics like say uh, because uh, only only we can do these operations where the material is ductile better the ductility easier the drawability so the ductility degree of directionality of the strain properties how the strains and other things will be uh, implemented and uh, all those strains uh, manifestation in terms of grain structures of those metals will be there these are also have a role to play because it all depends upon the typical material characteristics because all materials are not equal ductile wherever ductile is there ductility is higher than the drawability is higher and the strain properties also has to be understood uh, critically analyzed before establishing the deep drawing process and that is quite obvious also so in cases where these limits on drawing ratio this reduction this reduction and t by db t by db means thickness by diameter of the blank because uh, that is also has a role to play are exceeded by the design of the drawn part the blank must be drawn in two or more steps because it is a sometimes an iterative process we cannot go for 
uh, very very fast and dramatic changes they were severe in one go so we have to divide it in two stages so just like we are drawing we cannot go for the um, diameter reduction appropriately and abruptly so there are some ratio restrictions so that uh, if we want to do that kind of things though, then the entire process has to be subdivided into two or more steps or stages and sometimes uh, we need some annealing because uh, sometimes strain hardening and other things are there so it should be easily drawn the ductility and other things are not compromised these are the definite issues related to the different kind of materials and their operational hazards whenever we are doing a very severe drawing operation the third measure apart from that measure with those mm, mm, ratio and these thickness by diameter the third measure is also thickness to diameter ratio and whatever we have already said and often expressed as a percent it is desirable of the t by db ratio to be greater than one percent so that uh, that uh, uh, t cannot be very very thin so it should be at least one percent of that diameter of the blank and as t by db decreases tendency for wrinkling and all those things creases and other things will come so um, thicker the material it is easier to go for the deep drawing otherwise those kind of marks and which are not intended one the wrinkles and maybe the surface tears and all the things will come so this is also a very important ratio it is the third ratio whatever we have discussed that t by db so a problem a simple representative problems is uh, there, uh, problems are there, numerical problems uh, to uh, understand that the feasibility of all those kind of processes and they are having some pragmatic values that is sometimes very important to understand a process. Sometimes in some of the questions or interview it is asked tell some tangible value which can be drawable one. So from if one can remember those sample numerical examples the advantage is that one can easily easily appreciate those kind of processes their knowledge and other things considered to be uh, sufficient for the working the problem is a drawing operation is used to form a cylindrical cup uh, cylindrical cup with inside diameter of 75 millimeter and height 50 millimeter the straight blank size is 138 millimeter and the stock thickness is 2.4 millimeter so there the third ratio will be important based on these data is the operational feasible so try to understand the problem that inside uh, we want to draw a cylindrical cup that diameter uh, inside diameter will be 75 the height will be 50 starting blank size will be 138 and the stock thickness is 2.4 uh, so, we have to determine that if it is feasible or not by utilizing those uh, standard ratios given in the handbook or the standard uh, related to drawing, drawability. So, we can find it out what is the drawing ratio that is 138 by 75. 138 has to be with the 75 and that is 1.84 and that ratio is 138 what is the change 138 minus 75 that has to be reduced so 138 minus 75 divided by 130 that comes out to be 45.65 percent so that is the ratio drawing ratio and t by db that is the third ratio which is important that the thickness is 2.4 and the uh, these da these values that is uh, the starting blank size is 130 8 millimeter so that ratio and it comes out to be 1.7 percent so that has to be on the basis of this information we have to find it out that way that this drawability is feasible or not so according to these typical measures the drawing operation is feasible why it is feasible because it is more than one percent and the drawing ratio is less than two Drawing ratio is less than 2 as we found it out from there itself it is 1.84 138 by 75 that is 1.84 and that is less than 2 so it is feasible. So drawing ratio is 2 that is feasible in one criteria less than 50 percent and T by DB ratio is greater than 1 percent because thickness is not so thin that 
it is less than 1% in terms of the initial values of the blank. So, in both the cases it satisfies the condition. So, the drawing there are these uh, this is feasible and this is the first two try criteria that has to be tested for the drawability. And these are the general guidelines frequently used to indicate technical feasibility. Technical feasibility has to be there because the process whatever we are dealing with has to be seen that whether we are able to do that or not as per the standards, as per the guidelines, as per the manuals. And these two ratios are giving some very preliminary the blunt assessment of the feasibility of the process. So, again one more for the drawing operation play, determine the drawing force and the holding force. These two forces are also important because what amount of force has to be exerted by the punch that will be decided by the machine. The machine has to deliver that amount of force and the fixturing force, the holding force, the positioning force, the camping force also has to withstand that force otherwise it will not be feasible. So, these two things also has to be determined before proceed for the product of drawability and other things to ensure. So, given the tensile strength of the sheet metal specimen that is low carbon steel, it is tensile strength is given 300 mega Pascal and the yield strength is 175 mega Pascal that is the typical value of the low carbon steel. 300 mega Pascal is the tensile strength and yield strength is 175 mega Pascal before that uh, above that it will have a plastic deformation and the die corner radius is 6 millimeter. So, this is given this is given and the formula the formulas the forces the drawing forces required to perform and given operation can be estimated roughly by the formula by this and this is the typical formula where the force is equal to pi into d suffix p that is the punch diameter into t thickness that is the tensile strength t s into that ratio d b by d p that is the blank diameter and the punch diameter minus 0.7. So, after uh, all those things this formula a lot of experimentation people have come out of this formula that is the drawing force and we have to determine the drawing force in order to find it out the whether the machine can deliver that kind of force in order to get the intended result for the specific case. So, A is equal to the drawing force in Newton and T is equal to the original blank thickness in millimeter that has a very important role to play apart from the feasibility in order to determine the drawing force. T s is the tensile strength in mega Pascal of those things and we are doing all those things in a ductile material low carbon steel where it is given that 300 uh, is the mega Pascal is the its tensile strength d b that is d suffix b the blank diameter starting blank dia and d p that is d suffix p that is the punch dia and correction factor is 0.7. So, we will put all those things to determine the drawing force. So, this is the equation where we putting it out that 75 we are putting 2.4 uh, that is the thickness then 300 that is the tensile strength and 138 by 75 that is the ratio minus correct uh, correction factor 0.7 put it into the bracket putting all those things in those uh, formula and we are getting that drawing force is uh, near about 19,33,096 Newton. 193,396 Newton that will be the force and it is easy because we are putting all sorts of things from the given uh, information and just putting into that and we are calculating that force. And this is the drawing force and we have to go for the holding force also. Holding force also has an important thing related to uh, the design of the machine. We have to know the holding force and it is an important factor in a drawing operation. The position, location, locating and clamping force has to give appropriate support to the entire kind of activity of the drawing. So, as a rough approximation the holding pressure can be set at a value of 0.015 of the yield strength. So, that is related to yield strength. So, that is why we are in the previous formula there was no component related to yield strength, but in case of in case of determining the holding pressure. Uh, it can it should be the 0.015 of the yield strength of the sheet metal and this value is then multiplied by that portion of the starting area of the blank and that is to be held by the blank holder. So, then area has to be multiplied with those pressure. So, we can get those uh, 
value. So, here the holding force, holding force in drawing that is in Newton. So, that is associated with the yield strength, those components are there. Y is the yield strength of the sheet metal, that is a component, then T is the starting stock thickness as we have utilized in the determining the drawing force. This uh, capital R suffix D is the die corner radius, that is also important in order to measure the holding force and the other terms have been all those things we have associated with that and we have these kind of a little slightly complex nonlinear formula and this holding force is usually about one third of the drawing force and here we will determine that force related to putting all those values in this equation. So, here we will putting all those values. So, first 0 0.015 that is already in the equation then y is uh, this yield strength is 175. So, 175 mega Pascal. Uh, we have put it there itself and then uh, then uh, db is the, um, the blank dia then the punch dia and it should be p means it should be pi sorry one i is missing here. So, and those values are been put forward put forward that is 2.2 .2 into plus uh, into 2.4. So, that is already put there 2.2 .2 is the multiplier t is 2.4 and rd also we know that 6. So, if you putting all those things we can get all those forces like say putting all those things holding forces it comes out to be 86,824 Newton. So, holding force can be determined on the basis of these formula straight way we are putting all those values and according to that we are getting this formula. So, there is some homework who are going through that and we have to find it out what will be that. So, the homework is associated with a cylindrical cup which is produced in deep drawing operation. The cup height is 75 millimeter and its inside diameter is 100 millimeter. So, the cup height is 75 is 100, sheet metal thickness is 2 millimeter and the blank diameter is 225. So, first we have to find it out the drawing ratio, the reduction, the thickness to diameter ratio and we have to determine the easy is the operation feasible. So, on the basis of that just like the previous problem we have to determine that and on the basis of that we have to conclude whether it is feasible or not. If it is feasible then and then only we can proceed further for those operation of the deep drawing. So, that has to be understood and this is a sample case for the homework and according to that we will have to determine that it is just a make people aware of all those things whatever we have discussed. Uh, right now for the last 20 minutes. Thank you very much for your patient hearing where we have seen a typical load equation, load uh, calculation and determination for the drip drawing operation and the feasibility study and on the basis of that we are getting some idea take away from this uh, lecture discussion is that we get some pragmatic idea how the drawing force and holding force depending on some some initial process parameters has to be done and the feasibility study also carried out on the basis of that the further uh, operations can be executed thank you thank you very much